the Phil Sweeney Chase will kick off day three. Um, let's get a look at the runners, and we've got the high definition card. I look to think the top one is the Clown for Joshua Sutherland, Fountain Springs for Darren Thompson, Capable Cardington, Martin Lidham, Cypherate for John Morgan, Fiorenti, Paul Rhodes, Grey Lender, Ryan Costello, Molacciotto for David Robertson, On Tilt for Red Eyes, Palace Pie, Ryan Costello, Spilt Over, Ryan Tamasemi, Black Ascoli, Martin Lidham, Force 10, Craig Beckwith, Halladea Ahead for Thomas Rogers, Lexington Bark and Portland Harbour for Vinnie Gerrard and Post Footsie for Thomas Rogers. So 16 of them then. And the sun is shining today for a change and away they go. Make their way towards the first of the fences in this Phil Sweeney chase. Looks like the grey cipher might be one of the first ones to show as they get to the first of the 12 that they're going to take in all. And they all get safely to the other side of it with spilt over the leader from Walesciotto on the outside is now just about taken up. Cypher is in third, then comes Black Ascoli in fourth, the first of the two in the purple jacket, the second one in the purple jacket is Cable Carlington as they take that one and jumped a little bit slowly, Force 10 was a faller at the back, so Force 10 the first one to depart the race then and spilt over is the leader coming to number three. And over that one they all go with spilt over in front. Cypher the Grey has just moved up on the inside of Molesciotto to take a share of second. And Black Ascoli is back in fourth. We get Fountain Springs as they get down to the next. And over that one they go all safely over that one as well. After Fountain Springs you've got uh, Halladoy ahead and Grey Lender capable Carlington who was placed in this last year. He's on the inside rather well, second of the two in the purple with Palace Pie wide on the outside in the green and the white hoops but it's Marletti Otto who's gone on there and leads by a couple of lengths racing down towards the next of the fences with Spilt over and Cypherate chasing in second and third then moved up on the outside Fountain Springs Holiday ahead is after that one then Black Ascoli just lost its place a little bit as Grey Linda goes past it and they get over fence number five we've still lost just the one Force 10 and they come up past the rickety old stand and past the winning post and they're going to swing out there right handed for another circuit of the track a pretty tight track this one just ten and a half foot on the ground and Marla Giotto is the leader by about two lengths two spilt over is in second Cypher is in third then Halladeer ahead is in fourth with Fountain Springs after that one of them Black Ascoli and Grey Linda and we've got Capable Carlington and Palace Pies they take number six leader jump that one a little bit slowly the rest of them all got over it okay looking towards the back Portland Harbour is at the back and so is post footsie just in front of them Lexington Bark but they now make their way towards the final mile in this race then and Mawala Shiotto is the leader from spilt over in second side front the grey still showing third as they get over number seven and there's a faller there as well Palace Pie's gone so Palace Pie's a faller it's two gone now then as they make their way towards the next with Moa Otto on the inside of Spilt over these two have been sharing the lead throughout the race really Cypher it's been sat nicely in third Grey Lender now making a forward move the second of the Greys on the outside as they take fence number eight good jump there by Spilt over bit of a shoddy jump at the back by Capable Carlington who's going to struggle to match what he did last season but it's Moa Otto then in the lead by a length as they begin this turn come down towards this ditch and over it they go all oh, spilt over's gone he just didn't take off at the right time he went straight into it and he's out of the race so that's left Marlesci Otto with a clear lead as they take the third last. Marlesci Otto over in the lead from Grey Lender and Cypherate, the two greys together. On the inside is Halladeer ahead, and Black Ascoli's going more around the outside. Fountain Springs is next, then Fiorenti and the Clown, and then on tilt. We can forget the rest, I think, as they come down towards the second last. And over that one, Marlesci Otto landed in the lead from Fountain Springs. Fountain Springs now coming through to challenge. Black Ascoli's moved through in the third. Cypherate is still there in fourth, one or two from the back, beginning to run on. But it's Fountain Springs who's going to lead into the final fence, but no. No, he's not. Marleshi Otto has fought back on the inside and has regained the lead. It's Marleshi Otto from Fountain Springs. Cypherate, Black Ascoli and the Clown coming through on the outside as well. Surely between these as they come down towards the final fence there. And Marleshi Otto is beginning to tie up. Black Ascoli and the Clown on the outside going through the challenge. Cypherate's there as well. Over the final fence they go and Black Ascoli just landed in front. It's Black Ascoli from the Clown. Marleshi Otto and Cypherate as they race up towards the line and Black Ascoli's going to take it. The Clown is second, Cypherate third and Marleshi Otto was next the field trail all the way back to post footsie well, I think that's a bit of a surprise winner there 
as Black Ascoli takes it at 100 to 1 with the favourite beating into second. And let's take a look at the connections. It's a win, Black Ascoli for Martin Leedham, the clown for Joshua Sutherland was second, side freight for John Morgan third, Mualeshi Otto was. Um, well, Mualeshi Otto was after that, and it's, <laughs> it's all disappeared, so sorry about that. We've lost the rest of the result, but. Um,